Hey, what's up my Koopa Troop? It's Koops! Welcome back to some more Plants vs. Zombies. We got some more different zombies coming in here. Look at that, we got a guy with a ladder? What's what's up with him? What's going on? Well, we're gonna find out a little bit more. In fact, does the almanac even tell us? No, it does not. It does not. Well, actually it does, right here. Not encountering it. I see him right there! I see the ladder zombie. We found the bungee zombies, though. We have not found this. Hmm, what is that? We have found the pogos and other digger zombies and stuff. They are all real annoying. We haven't found him. I see him right there. I guess we gotta see him throughout the entire level. We can't find out about him until we see what he does in action, huh? Well, let's see here. I'm gonna definitely show off the new plant we got. And let's see, what else can we show off here? Unfortunately, I can't use any of the other stuff. I'll use I this. I enjoyed using that. I will do that again. These are helpful at the start of the game. We'll do the repeater. We'll try and do a Gatling. That would work pretty awesome if we can get a Gatling going. And I think other than that, that's about all we need, right? I'm not sure what else we need here. Um, I'll do a split for the start of the game, and yeah, I think we're good to go. Let's rock. Oh, cool, they took away another row that I could have used to plant sunflowers or all my stuff. Appreciate it, game. I really appreciate it. That was sarcasm, because I do not. I do not appreciate it in the slightest. It's so mean of them to do that to us. So now I gotta plant all my stuff across like this. This really hurts your economy at the start of the game because now I gotta defend more rows and I really wanna leave those back to rows. I guess if I was not so lazy I wouldn't do that, but now I gotta plant one of these and get prep prepared. In fact, I'll plant that as my preparation because that should be able to kill him. It should spawn in time. There we go, get my sun down. This will save me even more money than as opposed to a squash because the squash is 50 and one of these is 25. The only downside to the potato mines is they take a while to arm themselves. But other than that, it's good to go. It doesn't really matter anyways, because I actually need to plant stuff in that row, I should say, in a little bit anyways. See? Bam, down it goes. And I need to plant you there and the squash there. So, yeah, I need to, like, that's just, that's just one of the ways, you know, it works. Yeah, I, need, I needed stuff in that row anyway. So it works out okay. But now you can see how annoying it gets, because I gotta plant a, plant a potter, and then I gotta put my sunflowers, so... It's real, be a real big pain. Now, where's the next zombie coming? Down this way. I will go ahead and prepare for him, like that. Now I need another pot, actually. I go ahead and start planting my cabbages, actually, in the back too there. So I'm gonna plant these cabbages in the. Actually, I'll plant these in the far back row. I'll show you a little bit about those. So I'll plant those in the far back row and cabbages right in front of them. That's how I'll do it. Doesn't really matter. Whatever your preference is or not preference. <laughs> Does not matter. <laughs> there we go. Now we got two of the rows defended. I say defended kind of because the actually the butters or the cornipults are not very good in terms of defense. But you'll find that out. Another one there. Boom. Down it goes. There goes my sun plant. You can see it's not doing a whole lot. So I'm going to need to plant a cabbage actually. I'm going to get rid of it in time. But the uh, cornipults have an interesting thing. This guy hasn't shot one yet. But you, shoot, you see they shoot little corn pieces. And then every once in a while... If my guy will do it, he will shoot a piece of butter. Which, um, funny enough, he never really shot, did he? There goes one, there it goes, boom, there it goes, a big piece of butter like that. And the butter will make the zombies stand in spot and not move. And there he finally shoots ones after it's way too damn late, so thanks for nothing, you jerk, you know, pretty much. Well, that's alright, otherwise he tried hard, he, he tried his best, didn't work out for him. There he goes, that's what happens, just flies over. Sticks them right in the skull and they stop. They can't even move. Now I'm gonna make his day a little bit worse. There we go. <laughs> oh, those zombies. They make me laugh, man. They make me laugh. So actually, we are already set up very well. We got all our butters in the back, all our corner pulls. I, I like to call them butters because they, they shoot butter every once in a while. The one shoots cabbages, do the damage. The butter stops them. Now, what you can actually do is put even more butter, and I actually might do that for fun because that's just another way of really messing with the zombies and in fact I might just do it because we already have actually a really good line of defense going on I'm not gonna lie especially some of these roses already have the repeaters and stuff like our we're set up pretty strong already so I'm gonna actually set up another one of corn now it's kind of far forward you never would really put one this far forward but the thing is I'm kind of messing around a little bit here it's not gonna matter too much I plant this here to get rid of that guy because he's otherwise gonna make it and there we go. Now we got all our stuff in the back. Now I'm just planting more 
of these in the front. That zombie is going to get pretty far, but I got another repeater ready for him. And I also have Gatling, so I got I still have a ways to go in this game before my setup is is done correctly. And I think he'll get done and killed in time, so that's why I planted it. Yeah, and I got even lucky too. I, I would have killed him in time. It was a little close, a little risky. I wouldn't necessarily recommend doing it that close, but it worked out in our favor, so we're okay. Now let's see, here come the zombies, all running to kill me. Our first our first big wave. I've got my setup going here where they're gonna shoot some butters at them and stop them in their tracks. Like I said, normally you never plan them that far forward. I'm just doing it because, because I can. <laughs> Pretty much that's, that's the long and short of it. Go get him another repeater right there. There comes the ladder zombie. Here he goes. He's gonna start eating my stuff. I don't appreciate that ladder zombie. You have to go and die. Oh, he actually ate through my thing. That's really annoying. That's okay. They only cost 25, so it's not a big loss to the to the overall economy. Though you can see we're actually down to zero right now, so we're spending our money very well. And my next thing I'm gonna save up for is tall nuts. In fact, I should start planting these things. There we go, I'll plant one right there to stop that guy. Now the ladder zombies, as you might, maybe can guess, is they can plant a ladder and climb over stuff. So you gotta be really careful about them. They can get over the first zombie. If you have a tall nut, or, or if you have a walnut in the way, they can get over that. I'm not sure about a tall nut. I really can't remember if they can get over tall nuts or not. I mean, I, I figure we will find out together very, <laughs> very soon as I start planting my wall of tall nuts. But my setup defense is pretty darn good right now. Like I said, normally you would never put butters that far forward, but yeah, what the hell, we did it anyways. <laughs> it's not, not the end of the world. So I want to start keep planting my taunts because taunts take a while to recharge. But I do want to get a Gatling down because Gatlings also take a long time to recharge. And they're also really expensive, as you guys can see, by the 250 up there. I mean, those are an expensive plant. 450 essentially, because you got to get a repeater down first plus the Gatling. You know, so you pay a premium to try and get that one square with four shirts on it. We're gonna go ahead and get it. So I'm gonna go ahead and plant that right there. Bam! Now we got ourselves a Gatling. Do 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 do. He's gone. <clears throat> Just like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and get a tall nut in front of that because I really want to defend that Gatling, that investment. That's one plant, and if it gets eaten, that's 450 sun down the drain. Just like that. Wouldn't that just make you cry? No, it would make me cry. Well, there we go. Otherwise, we're actually set up pretty well. I'm gonna go ahead and set some defense up here in the form of. A squash and a potato mine. Here come some zombies. They're gonna get up in time, or is the potato mine gonna get them? No, they're gonna get they're gonna get through in time. And the one guy got stuck right there. I really don't want them eating all my stuff. That'd be not cool. Ooh, they're making a beeline for all of my stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and plant. Oh, I just missed it. Oh, but I got it there. But see, the ladder zombie can plant. It right there and get in the way and that's really annoying isn't that that he can plant that and then just get through that isn't that not cool so my taunts are even useless compared to that guy now we still have this guy right here is causing a problem actually two of them I didn't even know there's two of them so they have their this is the best shot the zombies have for doing damage to me I'm gonna plant that right there just to mess with his head a little bit oh <laughs> like the cabbage just chucks it right into his face but there we go so yeah that's what you have to worry about the uh, ladder zombies come up put a ladder and go over any walnuts or tall nuts in the way so that's what you got to be careful of your your frontline defense might not be so good as you think and once that ladder's in place all other zombies get to walk up it too so your tall nut effectively is useless unless you get rid of the tall nut or plant something in front of it it's gonna stay there so that's the unfortunate thing but there we go let's go ahead and grab our new plant find out what it is well I think I know but we're gonna all find out together it is a coffee bean woohoo Plant on a mushroom to wake you up! Whoa! That's essentially what it does, guys, is it wakes you up, startles you a little bit, the coffee bean. You can now use mushrooms at night, or in daylight, to make them wor work. We're actually gonna give him a try. Now, what I'm gonna do in combination is we will do... See, I don't wanna do this because, once again, that, that starts costing more. We'll do one of these, this, I will do a coffee bean, and I will do the magnet. Or the, what is he, yeah, the magnet shroom. That will be useful in taking against the pogo zombies, the ladder, and the football players. So that's why we gotta be careful with all of those guys out and about. Otherwise, it's not really worth it because it's 75, meaning that you gotta put 75 down, and then you gotta put the plant, then put 75. So, like, it really, you're, that's pretty expensive for a lot of these plants. It really isn't worth it half the time. So I don't think we'll be dealing with that too much. I will go ahead and grab one of those grab two of these guys these are the the two real plants you really need in these these uh 
these roof levels, unfortunately. Or not unfortunately, it's just what you have to do. Grab a squash for D. And we can do something fun. What else can we plant just for fun? Let's go ahead and do a... Uh, I'll do an ice room. It's for fun. I mean, just something just something to mess with. We'll plant that down and then freeze them all. I've got no defensive walnuts or tall nuts, but I think we'll be okay nonetheless. So let's rock. Let's do it. And actually, three rows or three columns, I should say, is the least amount of pots they will have. So they will not take any more pots away from us, which I guess is the nice thing, but I'd rather them not have taken all these pots away in the first place. That wasn't very cool of the game to do that. But nonetheless, that's how it occurred. So we gotta, we gotta deal with it. It's just nice to have sun falling from the sky again. I mean, goodness gracious, I kind of forgot that that actually happened in this game. I got real lucky there and this zombie actually came in a row that I hadn't planted yet. So I can actually spend even less time, you know, trying to defend against him, planting a whole pot or anything like that. So I go just go ahead and start working on my second row of sunflowers. The zombie's gonna make his way over to the squash to his imminent death. Sorry, buddy, that's the way it goes. That's just the way of the world. So I'm thinking I can use this ice guy, this ice room in the in the back somewhere, like it, even behind the zombies, if that makes any sense. I'm not sure if that does or not. But like plant it behind them after they go past it, and turn around and then use it to kill them all. I, you guys will see what I mean when I when I actually get to that point in time. I'm just kind of talking right now a little bit about my plan. You can see we got three waves coming of zombies. So it's not going to be easy in the slightest, but I still think we can do it. I have faith in our zombie killing abilities. You know, just just a little bit of faith. Now the magnet one does not la reach all the way across, so I'm going to have to put it probably a little farther forward. Maybe right even up to here. You can see it's sleeping, and so you got to use the coffee bean. I'm not going to use it just yet. But you got to use the coffee bean to wake it up. Now I actually think I need a kill. No, it'll, he'll be dead, so I'm not going to worry about it. Coffee bean to wake him up. So you put the coffee bean right on top of it. And then I wake up my guy. So now he is good to go throughout the day levels. Please don't eat my plant. Oh, okay, good. Good. That was close. Closer than I wanted it to be, actually. Unfortunately, he came right for that plant right there, which I really don't want them to eat, so I'm going to have to defend that. Hmm. Boom, he's gone out of the way. Nicely done. All right, we're actually looking okay. Now I don't have any repeaters or anything like that, so I don't have my huge line of attacking like I had last time. That might be the only downside to my ultimate plan I got going on here. <laughs> Go ahead and plant this right there as a secondary plant. Those take a while to recharge, that's why I did that. Now I actually don't need to be pot planting all of these pots because I really don't have anything to fill them up yet, so I really should be filling them with all of my, my uh, corn in the back. And I think what I'm gonna do here is actually, I kind of thought about it, I think I might just plant a bunch of corn. It sounds kind of fun to me, so I think I'm gonna do it. The cornipults are, are kind of fun compared to the cat the cabbage pults, which are also there. I mean, those are cool too. Don't get me wrong, but I'm gonna try doing the corn because it's really funny when the zombies just get stuck all the time. Like, I imagine that's really frustrating. But I'm really frustrated by the zombies that are just popping out of nowhere and trying to kill me. So, I think it's I think it's justice. I think it's fine. Now let's see here. Is there anything else I need to uh, really plant? No, I'm actually making money. Okay, I'm just really waiting for the cornipults to recharge. This guy is not cool. I don't want him popping up and taking all my stuff, actually. So I might get rid of him with a squash. This can go there. We're looking pretty good now. We got a little bit of a setup going on here. I, I, I can see where we're heading off here. It's not, a most, it's not the most beautiful setup. And I think, in fact, we're actually going to probably need some cabbages in this uh, upcoming rows here. Uh, oh, I don't know. I, I, I really, uh, 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 yeah, actually, <laughs> I changed my mind. I really want to do cornipults. It just sounds so much fun. So we're just gonna keep rocking the cornipults. You know what? Screw you guys. I'm just, I'm just gonna do it. Screw me, man. I'm gonna do it. I don't even care. I don't even care. We're gonna cornipult it up. That just sounds fun. So I'm gonna do it. <laughs> I'm gonna need a kind of a row though of, of buffer, of actually sunflowers. Now it sounds kind of weird, but I, I just need this extra row of defense to slow down the zombies just a little bit here. You can see that thing, the, the corn is just, it's its causing a little bit of problems for the zombies. They, they, they feel like they should be able to go eat my stuff and they can't because they keep getting stuck on the corn. Oh, these poor zombies, man. All right, there it goes, another corn right there. So here comes the first one, boom! Butter stuck on the head, boom! Here comes the butter, br the butter brigade. Oh boy, the butter brigade. Yeah, there's that, that one right there. I need that extra one right there. So, 
These uh, zombies are just not having a good day. I'm gonna plant a second one of these right here. And that should take care of that guy. He's gonna eat my guy anyways. No, that's not cool. Well, actually, he's gonna get a little unlucky. You're all gonna get a little unlucky. Mega Squash. That sucks, you all died. So there we go, we got this. <laughs> that one uh, plant took that guy's uh, thing away, so he's a little out of luck there. And now I got... Go ahead and plant more of those here. Get my second line of... Oh, actually, that was, that was supposed to be another line of uh, defense. Eh, it doesn't matter. Whatever works, honestly. I just need to plant more things to kill these guys, so... I'm just gonna plant these throughout, randomly. It doesn't matter, this front row here is now just, like, fodder. <laughs> look, at that, look at all that butterfly. Look at the butterfly. It's like some kind of redneck game or something, you know, like, Look, Mom, throwing butter! Congrats, Sonny! Congrats! Alright, now I gotta go and plant some more... <laughs> oh... Plant some more corn. This, I'm sure the zombies are not having a good time now with corn just flying. They can't even walk anymore. That's what- this is what I just wanted to happen. Just like, they can't even move. This corn keeps flying every which way. <laughs> oh, these, <laughs> these zombies are so funny to me, man. I don't know, they're, just, they're funny guys. There we go. I'm glad I didn't put any catapults. That would be cheating. Or cabbage bolts. Sorry, I keep getting their name wrong. They're cabbage bolts. That's their official. That's their official name. Oh, this guy got through. That was not cool, the game. I actually go ahead and plant one of these there. It'll be sleeping and I can just wake it up whenever I feel like. Oh, that's pretty funny too. I can just leave it there and it'll, I'll, it'll be used when it's needed. I'll start digging this row, but I'll leave my double row of sunflowers and that should be good enough for me, honestly. Nope, not gonna happen, buddy. No, he actually hit my guy. Oh, did it work? Yeah, it worked. Oh, it got off in time. Oh, and it froze them all. That sucks for these guys. <laughs> oh, boy. It's a corn. It's a, They got a big corn problem up here, man. Big corn problem. The zombie got frozen and can't even move. And I'm over here. got 700 bucks to spend on... Or 700 suns, excuse me. 700 suns to spend on just more corn bolts. Oh, I'm, ha I'm having fun, guys. I don't know about you, but I'm having fun. There we go, there's my wall of corn. I'm gonna start getting rid of this back row of sunflowers because who needs them when you got corn everywhere? No, nah, you don't you don't get a ride your pogo stick. You you're gonna get off that. You're gonna go ahead and just get Boom! Buttered! Now that one guy's gonna start munching on that pot, which I don't really care about. That was my one pot I used for fun. I don't need it anymore. Oh, there it goes, there it goes. the guy lost his helmet though, because the uh, magnet took it away, the magnet shroom, and otherwise now he's he actually could do some damage because I don't have a lot in terms of like actual attacking stuff. Really, it's just these corn. <laughs> they don't do a whole lot, but these zombies still aren't even gonna be able to make it through. No, no, you're gonna you're gonna lose your little pogo stick in just a second. There you go. No, you get stuck. You get stuck, buddy. That's just how we're gonna play it. Now, I, like I said, I'm I'm building really far up forward, but I don't care if these ones get eaten. It's whatever. Like that's the whole point. You know, it's just to have more corn flying at these guys. Well, not corn, more butter. Like, that's what's so funny to me is all this butter's just flying everywhere, just stopping these guys dead in their tracks. There goes this guy trying to plant his little... That's not gonna happen, buddy. You don't get to plant your little ladder. Sorry. Oh, he's gonna eat my... Oh, he almost got... Almost ate it. Wow, so this is a... A little unfair for the zombies, I think, actually. <laughs> now, let's see here. I'm gonna go ahead and plant this here. Plant that there. And plant it there. That's a really expensive plant to do that, but I don't even care. It doesn't even matter. Boom! Got him down. Just like that. Oh, here comes more of the pogo stick, guys. How are they gonna make it? Are they gonna make it? No! He got stuck because they lost their pogos. Oh, that sucks for them. That sucks. I'm gonna plant another row of corn. Why not? I don't even care. Oh, that guy's got a chance because my guys are down. They don't, they've already taken all of the uh, pogo sticks, but unfortunately for him, they still were too good for him. Oh, you ate my corn. Those jerks. That's the only problem the zombies have is they gotta eat two things. They gotta eat the plant, then they gotta eat the pot. So there's a lot of stuff that's going on there for them, unfortunately. I'm still waiting for my my icing to recharge, but unfortunately for this, I just didn't expect this much to happen. Oh, here we come. Here's the greatest attack from the zombies. And half of them are all frozen once again. So that guy, those guys are frozen. I'm gonna let one row of these kind of die back here. Boom, behind them, they're not even gonna expect it. It was behind them. They won't even know what hit them. Boom, frozen. And here comes the corn, or the butter, and all that stuff. Boom, 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 all these little pellets. And sorry, buddy. 
Oh, there's still one guy left over there. He's still doing okay. There are two guys left. There's, they're hidden together. I didn't even see that. Still not going that well for them, unfortunately. Butter doesn't do a whole lot of damage, but it's doing enough. There goes the arm. Boom. And down goes the zombies. <laughs> they tried, but it didn't work out. There we go. We just corned the entire field. Granted, I planted one cabbage bolt, but I immediately retracted it. I, I, I apologize for even planting it, but that was pretty funny. Those poor zombies, man. They thought they could get across, but I filled the entire, entire area. We got a watering can. Now we can play Zen Garden mode. It is a separate little mode at the start of the screen, which we don't really care about. I will definitely show it off, but it's not a big deal. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed this episode. Please remember to leave a like if you did, and I will see you next time, guys. Take it easy. Peace.